William Whalen here back for GetMoreSports.com and we're going to look at Villanova, perhaps the most under-talked about, most under-talked about team in the country. The Wildcats are 26-2 on the year. Uh, certainly one of, not a surprise team, but one of the great stories uh, that needs to be dealt with coming into March. Now, the one thing that sticks out about them off the bat, number one, is their shooting prowess. Uh, they're one of the best field goal percentage teams in the country, uh, almost 40% from three as a team per game on average. I mean, this team has tremendous, tremendous balance, and that's what makes them so dangerous. In the NCAA tournament, when you have one or two guys having an off night, you need a couple guys to step in and be able to knock down some shots and allow them to get in their rhythm. That's certainly the case with Villanova. Uh, Jay Wright certainly, certainly deserves to be in the conversation for National Coach of the Year, yet nobody seems to be talking about Villanova. And why is that? Number one, because Kentucky has been a huge storyline on the year, wondering if they can go undefeated. Number two, Duke has the National Freshman Player of the Year in Jaleel Okafor, and has certainly had a little bit of drama with the dismissal of Rashid Suleiman, and obviously the play of the rest of their team and running out the record that they have. Virginia. Certainly the job that Tony Bennett has done and the injury problems that they've had and the record that they've put together. I mean, there are a ton, absolutely a ton of reasons why we haven't talked about Villanova and none of it is justified. Number one thing to realize about this team, as I talked about, their shooting. They've been putting together a string of games shooting over 40% from three as a team uh, that is just crushing opponents. Darren Hillard is one of the best players in the Big East, certainly, their leading score at just over 14 points per game, over 40% from three on the year. Uh, again, a senior that makes things happen on the perimeter. But, and as I alluded to earlier, the reason why Villanova is so dangerous is because they spread you out. They have balance. Lots of guys see the floor. They're fresh. They run. They play defense. Uh, they're, they're a really complete team that just lacks the star power, uh, lacks a National Player of the Year candidate like the teams in Duke, Virginia, Kentucky. They all have that. Wisconsin has that. Gonzaga even has that. Arizona, to an extent, has that. Villanova does not have the excitement of those teams, and it's what's holding a lot of people back from buying in the Wildcats. I'm not going to sell them right now. They've got two road games left in the year, finishing up at home with St. John's. I think they've got a chance really to run up a couple more wins, probably finish in the 29-2 range, go through the Big East Tournament. They're my favorite going into that, and I believe that they will enter Selection Sunday with an extremely strong case to be a number one seed. Their RPI is already number four, and it's only going to go up because I think they're ready to make a big-time, big-time run. And they're going to be a team that could slide in with Duke. I, I believe that they will take one of the number one seeds from Duke or Virginia. They're a team that could slide in and fit in that spot with Kentucky, Villanova, and then the last two are going to be up for grabs. Gonzaga certainly competing for one. Duke, Virginia competing for the last one. But I think ultimately Villanova gets one. Villanova is on the top of the line in one of the brackets. I think the Wildcats are poised for a Final Four run.